So my name's Laura and I'm the Head of Service at Zenith. So I've been here for six years now and I started off on our MPS help desk. So being Head of Service, I look after all of our various support teams from our MPS help desk, our escalated support team and also our client relations department. I'm Natasha and I'm the Senior Client Relations Executive here at Zenith. The CRE team at Zenith, um, we are here to build and maintain relationships with our strategic accounts. For me, I didn't actively look to get into the technology industry. I always had a passion for customer service. Um, so when I was approached about the job on the help desk, I found it really interesting because not only was it customer support, but there was a bit more to it as well. There was stuff I could learn and then I could develop in new skills. Um, and that's why it just really appealed to me. And then from the moment I started, I loved it and I loved staying in this industry. During university, I worked really heavily um, in the science labs um, and I focused on creating sensors. So whilst there, I really enjoyed, you know, being surrounded by technology. technology. I definitely saw technology as the future um, and I saw myself fitting into the industry really, really well. I'm able to provide customer service um, and that combined my love for technology with also the fact I like helping people and I, and I really enjoy um, having regular contact with customers. There's so much that you can learn. Um, you need a lot of soft skills. People skills are huge and how to communicate correctly with people. Um, there is so much more to it than just the word technology, um, which I think is sometimes a bit intimidating. I definitely think um, women should um, explore the tech industry. I mean, there are so many avenues to go down um, nowadays that you can use any skills that you potentially have. The advice I'd give to um, maybe younger women who are considering joining the tech industry is that if you have the passion um, and the drive, um, you will get to where you want to be. Um, and you, just like any other industry, um, you should feel that you can succeed for me, I think it's really simple. It's just go for it. There's no reason why they can't be in the industry. If you've got experience or not, it doesn't matter because you can learn everything along the way. Um, if you're passionate about technology, just find the area you're passionate about and just drive to get to the role you want to be in. So I just think companies need to ensure that uh, females aren't being treated any differently. Um, ensuring they've got the right support along the way, just as they would with any other employee at the company. There's no, there shouldn't be any difference between the two, whether you're male or female, the support needs to be the same so you can get into a senior leadership role. Um, and just helping boost the confidence if there is lacking in certain areas, whether it's through training or courses you might need to go on to be able to voice your opinion more in a male-dominated environment, potentially.